So, Nick, I don't, I don't know about you, but when I think of Kabuki, I think of futuristic warfare against hostile machine intelligences. Don't you? Can't stop, won't stop. I, so, yes. Is that something kids say now? And luckily, there's at least one Japanese game developer back in 1990 that agreed with me. I rented, this is a game I rented way back when I was a kid. It made quite an impression on me. It's not the best known game, or, here we go. Anyone? Or something. Gotta be inclusive. Now, you've never heard of this game before, correct? I have not, no. Okay. Lucky next. So it's basically, malware has gotten really bad in the future. If you, only they had... You open one of those Russian, you know, one of those Russian male enhancement ads, you are screwed. <laughs> See, they say right there, reduced to a pile of cinders. Ah, uh, that's not what was advertised. No, it was not. I was, I was promised to... Supreme male power, or, some, or, or something. Girth. Can't be ignored. <laughs> Can't ignore it. You have to push it. This is taking a very <sighs> foul turn already. I... <laughs> uh, so In that's the. Uh, okay, so. The yeah, basically, bed. basically, the <clears throat> premise of the game is that the computer system that controls the world's weapons is malfunctioning. So to stop the threat, they're going to send an elite operative into the computer system by by, uh, by up like guess uploading his mind in by uploading his mind into the into it so that he can battle it from inside. So is this the prequel to I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream? That 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 would be quite the the reveal at the end. You know, this is <laughs> this is actually about the rise of Am. Yeah. Excellent. We're going to get Harlan Ellison to do some voice work for the cutscene. What? This, this sounds like this looks like it should be read by like a '50s sci-fi movie announcer. What changes? Could oh ah! <laughs> Good God, you're ugly. <laughs> it, okay. You're very. Ugly. D two different color eyes. Or am I am I colorblind? Because when I look at one, it looks blue, and then the other looks green. But then when I, I shift off, I, I don't know. I can't take my gaze off that forehead. It <laughs> it just consume. It just encompasses everything. You are an ugly, ugly man in this game. <laughs> Sad. Oh, he's in it now. Yeah. Well, it's covering his face. Thank God. God, it looks but, creepy. That looks like a torture device. Well, yeah, it is. It is, it is, this game has a lot of, actually has quite a bit of, like, you know, style and atmosphere. It's hmm. very creepy and, and you've got your, I mean, we've already got our grotesque, possibly not human hero. Well, no, this, so, welcome to Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Or, it was as it was known in uh, Japan, Jigoku Gokuraku Maru, which, I don't know what that means. I know Jig Jigoku means hell. And that's all I could say. But here we go. Now, what? So we're about to find find out just what form the hideously ugly Colonel Scott or was it Scott Walker? Yes, yeah, Scott. No, Scott O'Connor. Okay. Now we're about so we're about to find out just what what form the hideously ugly Colonel Scott will take. I almost said it was Dan O'Connor. <laughs> I think it's an improvement. <laughs> here, here. Welcome to Kabuki Quantum Fighter. It's a side-scrolling action game where this this apparent apparently when when you when your very consciousness was uploaded uploaded into into the into the machines it turned you into this in, in the manual there's a bit of back I believe there's a bit of backstory about how like your great grandfather was a Kabuki actor and for some reason I don't know, I guess the, the the mind uploader thing is really racist and just assumed that you know if you if you're one eighth Japanese then you then you, you're into Kabuki. I don't know. You identify heavily with Kabuki. 
Uh, but very interesting. Yeah, your primary weapon is is your magnificent red locks, as you can see here. And you also have other weapon. You can switch weapons. Yep. See that, that which you can fire with. You have a your uh, chips. That's like your special weapon energy, basically. Mm. It's not the, most, it's not the most devastating of weapons. Yeah. Luckily, this game doesn't have the obnoxious like thing some games have where you get hit, you go flying wildly out of control. Which is yeah. Nice. Ow. Fair warning, I'm not good at this. I'm not that Fuck, great. The thing is moving. Yeah, that's a, like a conveyor belt. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's... Oh. Anything is possible in the virtual world, Nick. There's... Kabukis yeah. and... Pulsating like... gum. Yeah, like I said, this game has a really weird, kind of creepy atmosphere. It's pretty cool. It never really got much attention, because, I mean... Well, there are a lot of, like, you know, side-scrolling action platformers, and it's just... Probably was just too weird. Yeah. But I like it. Oh, I gotta be careful with those gears. I like this music. I cannot hear it. Uh, no. That's a shame. I am terrible at this. I don't worry about it. I can't tell the difference. I'd probably be doing similarly. Got it. Nice. Oh. Well, you didn't fall. To repeat, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> oh, l luckily the preternatural agility that only a kabuki, a kabuki actor possesses saved me. <clears throat> oh, that's, this is kind of kind of reminds me of like the last level, of like the original Contra. It's like very biological. Oh there's, yeah. There's hearts. Actually, I, I think I, I see like, that beating heart, and I keep thinking of fetus of God. Ugh. It's like, I don't know, it's like if H.R. Giger did Japanese drama. What you- So- What'd you just die?! <laughs> was that like a samurai dog or something? It's an it annoying like bastard wearing... is what it is, but... I... I think I've- I've- I've-, I've... I think I've encountered the most- There. Now you ain't doing shit. I'm running out of time, though. Oh, okay. And see, so you get- then you get points for your life. I mean, I believe- yeah, for your chips. And then you get replenished. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, so there are boss fights. Yes. Okay. Is he a ninja? I'm not sure what he is. He's... He's flipping. Yeah. See, if I'd served, saved more chips, I might be... Oh. One nice thing, your hair is a pretty long-range weapon. Oh, you're doing pretty good. I'm oh, right back. so oh, close. Damn. Well, and I'm back. Okay, so you have the power of the power of Kabuki is not so easily stopped. <laughs> Even when it's being wielded as ineptly as, uh, as it is right now. Nice. Like crude war of attrition tactics yeah, so I'm, triumphed. I'm... I'm sorry, what's that? <laughs> I'm not sure, like... Are all the enemies, like... Japanese-based, or...? Nah, not really. It's just... Whatever weird stuff the... The hostile computer virus decides to throw at you.
So you have an energy gun? Yeah, that's my my what I use those chips to fire. Oh, okay. You gotta really <clears throat> imagine you're you know you're a, you're a rogue artificial intelligence. You're about to you know launch you know launch the nukes or whatever to destroy humanity, and then you're told, okay, there's some invasive software the humans are fighting back with, and then it's this guy. You know, <laughs> what goes through your what goes through your head? Man, humans are really racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know what the hell happened. Is he just walking into you? No, he was just sort of walking into the wall, I think. Uh. What? are moving in the background. Oh, yeah. Like I said, this game... <clears throat> Gameplay-wise, it's... I mean, it's certainly solid. I mean, it... But it's really, like I said, the at... Like, just like the atmosphere and the weird look it kind of make it stand out. Hmm. Gotta pick up his flying mouth. Yeah, I see, when you're hanging like this, you can kick. And... Up you go, and... <coughs> this game really likes to have... Ah! This game really likes to have like, constantly moving surfaces under you. The conveyor belts, the water. Yeah. <coughs> and... Oh. I don't recall the levels being this short. Of course, when you're a kid, everything looks bigger. <laughs> 